All right, so I'm not sure if some of you are having the problems or if it's just me, but I got a Colt LE6920. I looked it up and it's more than one company, but my bolt is failing to lock back whenever the final round is shot or whenever the mag is empty. If I put an empty mag in there and I pull back the trigger, nothing's going to happen. In fact, hold on. Wow, should have done this before. All right, empty. There's nothing in there. Empty mag in there. I'm gonna pull back the charging handle, and it did not lock back. So we have a problem here. Now I looked it up online, and they're saying that it's probably the paddle. Some people mentioned the uh, the bad lever might be too heavy. I took it off, and it did nothing. So it is not the bad lever. So what I did. Some guy mentioned that it might be new paddle or new bull catch. So basically, I think the problem is here where it is not reaching the follower or anywhere near it. So I bought me a larger one. This one right here. So you can see. This one actually has a little, I don't know, a little thing protruding out. Whereas this one does not. See? So we're going to give that a shot. Let's see how that goes. We're going to replace this. And hopefully this will fix the problem. We'll see. So of course the first thing in my case would be to remove my bad lever and we, we're going to need some roll pin punches to remove this paddle right here by removing this little pin in here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Right there. And it'll just slide right off. I'll show you real quick how to do that. First thing you want to do is get some painter's tape and put it around your weapon because as you can see scratches will happen and I know I know scratches make give character to a to a tool so whatever but I want to keep it as nice as possible for as long as possible so that looks that's good enough all right, so these are with the, the items you're going to need. You're going to need your new paddle, of course. I got mine on Brownells. You can find yours there as well. Um, your roll pin punch set. Little lube, not necessary, but it's good to have. A hammer. Uh, a brass hammer is highly recommended. Everybody says that, but whatever. Same doo doo and of course your lower receiver alright so we're gonna be using the three the 332 roll pin point set uh, good to have some type of thing so won't damage your receiver what we're gonna do is put this on there and softly Tap. I'm here to take it easy because you don't want to lose this. I mean, I have an extra part, but. So that comes off. All right. So when you're removing your your bow catch, don't forget that there is a spring inside right there with a detent. Be careful because it will fly out and it can get lost. All right. So this is the old one. This is the new one. Extremely simple. All you do is grab it, and push it in. 
Oh, wait, I forgot the detent. Grab the detent, push that in there. Grab the new one. Just put it on. That's it, and it basically that's how it works. Now what I like to do here is to put it back to get a little bit of that painter's tape we had before. Just get a small tiny piece. I'm gonna put a little piece of tape right here on the on the punch. And put this on. Do something like that. This makes life easier. So, what I'm gonna do is grab this. So just put it on again. So just like how you took it off, we're gonna be putting it back on. Oh, one quick tip do is grab a little bit of lube and put it on the just so it could be a little lubricated all right so I finally got it on there uh, make sure it works make sure it's running smoothly if you want you can add a drop of oil in there all right so I'm thinking it did work because I have an empty magazine sorry that in and it's getting locked looks like it worked that's what I was missing um, so if you're having this problem now of course I need a final test at the range oh maybe I can let's see All right, put two rounds And it got locked. Oh, on the last one. It did work. Great. 